Hi, my name is Rogers Omundi Otom. Now, welcome to this course on COVID-19. So, I have a background in biochemistry from School of Medicine at the University of Nairobi. So, we'll be talking about COVID-19, which currently has caused, has become a pandemic and there's a global outbreak. So, in this, we are going to learn about, uh, we are going to do introduction to COVID-19. We are going to learn about facts about COVID-19 because there's a lot that has been said and most of them are, are not true. Now, before COVID-19, there are other outbreaks that have happened, one in 2003 and another one in 2012, that is SARS and MERS. And the impact that they had or the mentions that they had on uh, the following, uh, the previous uh, pandemics did have on, on media, it's estimated that SARS had about 56 million mentions. But something that has surprised us that, uh, is that during this COVID-19 outbreak, there have been more mentions like in billions. Currently, at the time of writing this, uh, doing this particular course, they have, it's, it's estimated that there are about, you know, three billion mentions on COVID-19 and coronavirus alone. And that means uh, as people, you know, people free and they have avenue to share information, it means there are people who will share information which is not accurate and that causes fear and that uh, and when people get afraid you know people take desperate measures and so forth so we learn about facts we learn about myths about coronavirus and then we learn about the things that you don't you should not do the don'ts and then we learn about the avoids these things are the things that you can do but you are highly recommended that you don't do them or you don't engage in them so, as I promised, we'll start with the introduction. So, COVID-19 is actually an abbreviation of Coronavirus Disease 2019. And it's, it's, the 2019 is, is appended on the name because it was first discovered in 2019. And we'll learn about the turn of events uh, as, to that is, uh, as, as to that is why. So, so this disease is a disease caused by a new strain. Now you just have to underline the word new strain of virus in the class of corona. And corona means crown, okay, in the, in the, in the class of coronaviruses. They are so-called because of the crown-like appearance under the microscope. So if you can look at that picture, courtesy of CDC, that's the picture, that's how the virus uh, uh, can be viewed under a microscope. You will see that there are things like crowns, a little bit of dots. So if you don't have an expert eye, you may think that those are just, you know, oh, those, those are dots. No, they're not dots, they're crowns, and they're connected to that protein mass. They're actually, the crowns are actually proteins. So because you don't have an expert eye, so the artists have gone ahead and given you something like that. Okay, so let's learn about turn of events. So in December 2019, the first case of coronavirus was reported in Wuhan, China, in the province of Hubei. Now, it's being said that the virus probably was discovered uh, earlier, but the Chinese, the, 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 the Chinese government, you know, they, they, they did not disclose the information. But Let's not go into the myths. We want to learn about the coronavirus and we want to you know, learn on the ways in which we can protect ourselves and our loved ones. So the first case being reported in, in December 2019, the Chinese go to, you know, they go, uh, they go for a, an holiday, a two week holiday on uh, the lunar holiday and then the situation escalates, okay? After the situation uh, escalates, the government blocks you know, they, they locked down Hubei province. And now in February, early February, uh, the global cases starts to increase. It's not only in China. Uh, now we have, we, we started having cases in the United States, we started having cases uh, in, in Germany, in, in UK, but the numbers were still low. And then because the situation was getting out of hand and out, and out of control, the World Health Organization comes, they, they, they jump into action, and they, they, one of the 
first things they did was to rename the virus from coronavirus disease to COVID-19. And now, at the time of doing this video, in March, Italy was hit bad. And now the numbers started surging. The, 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 there were now more increases. And governments in post, uh, different governments in, in post quarantine. In states, a whole country like Italy was locked down. And in Kenya, uh, in particular, we had our first case confirmed. And in less than 10 days, the number had jumped from only one case to 15 cases. So let's learn about symptoms of, uh, of corona disease. Now, some of the symptoms that you, you, you have been told are symptoms of corona dis, uh, disease are also shared with many, many other numerous illnesses. So for example, fever is a common symptom for corona disease. But if you have a malaria, which is very common uh, in, in, in Kenya, you will also have fever. And that can be mistaken as a symptom of corona disease. And then we have, you know, cough. But you remember, even if you have TB, you will be able to cough. Or if you just have a common cold or a sore throat, you will be able to cough. And then the last one, uh, we have shortness of breath. And then we have the congestion of the chest and so forth. So these are the, you know, the highly indicators for corona disease. Now, fever was used because this, I told you, the virus is a new strain. That means nobody knew about it. If somebody knew about it, uh, most scientists didn't know about it. And it means we did not have methods to know how to confirm such cases in, in um, we did not have, you know, test kits to confirm such cases. So what they used to do at the airports or in crowded places or the train stations is to, you know, take the temperature uh, reading. If it's high, probably found you have a fever, then you will be isolated. So let's talk about uh, COVID-19 tests. I've told you, uh, so it, like I know most of us have, have ever gone for, for, you know, for testing. Uh, another virus that the world is still dealing with currently is HIV, a, HIV, HIV virus. HIV AIDS is not a virus, HIV is a virus. And we have, you know, tests that have been, you know, uh, uh, test methods that have been developed that we can use to rapidly know uh, uh, confirm, you know, uh, uh, HIV virus. So, if you, I think that if you, if you have ever gone to visit T, you, the, the, the image uh, on the screen, you are familiar with it, that we have tests where if you see two strips, you are positive. If you see one strip, you are negative. See it on the other side, it's inclusive and the, uh, inconclusive, and therefore you have to repeat the test again. And then we have, I uh, know, uh, the COVID-19. Now, because it's uh, a new strain, the only best, uh, the thing that we could do first is to have the, you know, the genome print of, 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 of the, uh, or the DNA print of, uh, of the virus. And using polymerase chain, we can compare. And then we used to, uh, then we used to, you know, confirm the cases. So there exist currently, as we speak, no test kit uh, uh, like the one above. But I know scientists are doing you know, working around the globe, and probably you will hear that there are ready test kits. But currently, in countries like Kenya, we, I know scientists, our researchers rely heavily on uh, PCR, which is polymerase chain reaction. So let's talk about the don'ts. This is not the time for you to travel up country, because we don't know whether you are infected. And you may not show signs up to 14 days. So this is not the time for you to travel to you know, visit your mom or grandma. You may take, you may be a carrier and take the virus you know, to, to another region where, it, was, uh, where it, it wasn't previously. So avoid also crowded places like markets. Avoid church, avoid mosque, avoid matatus. And I like the fact that the government has put on measures, for example, in Matatu. If, uh, if, if you see that you are in a Matatu and they are not following rules that have been put uh, in place by the government and by the Ministry of Health, 
kindly just get out of that particular vehicle because it's for your safety. So uh, I, 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 I didn't like uh, this picture. They, they gave me a heartbreak when I saw, you know, uh, last Sunday, a, a group of faithfuls, people who, who proclaim to, you know, to, to, to love their God, congregate in such manner, you know, in, 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 uh, with the agenda of prayer, not knowing that either of them could, you know, could have been infected and then they infect that virus, they spread that virus to, to other guys. So kindly don't do this. Don't go to church, don't go to mosque. If you go to supermarket, at least try to be uh, one meter away from somebody uh, and wash your hands and so forth to ensure that you are safe. We don't have the cure for the virus. Okay, and I'll talk about that uh, uh, later. What are some of the things that you need to do, you know, to, uh, as precaution, uh, precaution measures to, uh, you know, to prevent you from getting and spreading the virus? Number one, work from home where possible. If you don't have any meetings that have to be taken, you know, physical meetings, kindly stay at home. And if there are meetings, you can have them online. We have Zoom, we have Skype, and you can use those particular online uh, services to have your meetings. If you don't have a personal car, kindly try to adopt to cycling or walking because you are in control of, of, your, of your personal space. Wash your hands frequently and sanitize your hand. And I won't say wash your hands after every 20, uh, after every 20 minutes or so. No, 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 no. Sanitize your hands with alcohol-based hand sanitizer. Now, something I want you to be very careful. Kenyans are crafty, okay? So right now you, will, you have hand sanitizers that have been made uh, at River Road. Be careful on hand sanitizer that you have. Some think that if they just mix you know, surgical spirit with glycerin, you have hand sanitizer. You, you don't know, you may not know the, the, the conditions and how they mix the ratios and so forth. So please try to buy genuinely branded uh, hand sanitizers to be safe. You may just be using a spirit, but that, uh, does, uh, that doesn't kill the germs. Now, this is very uh, important. Limit the outdoor games for your children. If they have to go out to play with other kids, we are trying to ask you kindly uh, have them at your side. But this is not the time to, you know, allow kids to mingle. Kids are one of the major sources uh, that you can have, you know, pathogens in your house in, term, in forms of bacteria or the virus that we are currently dealing with. So watch your kids. Adopt online shopping where necessary. You don't have to walk to, 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 to a supermarket to, to have your groceries or goods delivered. You can just order them. If you are to buy a phone, you don't have to go to the CBD to buy a phone. You can buy them online and then they will be delivered unto you. If you are on a table, please, or working at home, ensure that you disinfect the table. When you have somebody who have visited you, it's not on wrong intention, but if somebody you have has visited you, try to sanitize the place where he touched, you know, the, the, like a remote, or, or the seat or the table where he had placed the hands. So numbers, you know, it's said, and it has been said that um, action speaks louder than words. But I want to, to put forward that numbers shouts more than action. So as of, um, as of the time of writing this, this uh, uh, of doing this particular video, there had been there were three and over three hundred and eighty thousand uh, cases, and this this virus has just had three months to spread. So, if it goes further, we it has a potential of reaching millions. As of the time of doing this video, we had eighteen thousand plus deaths. Those that are confirmed, there are those probably people who died not having been able to go to the hospital. Still, still. Uh, under the the uh, the by by being infected by by this particular virus, and this virus has a potential of infecting hundreds of millions, if not a billion plus, and killing hundreds of thousands. So, if you feel sick, if you feel sick, kindly self isolate, protect your loved ones, 
even your enemies if you have from infections. If you are sick, kindly call your doctor or call a toll-free number. And in this case, you can call this particular number that has been provided by the Ministry of Health. Just call and tell them, I have fever or I travel from this particular country and I'm not feeling well, I have this particular symptom, then stay at home. Don't just walk to the hospital or just don't travel to the hospital because if it indeed you are infected and then you get into a matter, you may infect one or two people. The place where you have touched after coughing, you may, they may touch it. The probability is one that somebody is going to touch it and is going to get the virus. If you just walk to a, a, a doctor for consultation and the doctor was not you know, well protected, you are going to infect this doctor and he or she is going to you know, talk to other more patients and in that case, they are even touch them, you know, there's contact and they're going to spread this virus. Don't just walk into hospital, I repeat. Protect our healthcare providers and protect all the citizens. So what are some of the myths? You know, uh, people are saying that Africans, that people of, uh, it was said that people of African descent uh, are, are, are immune to the virus. That's a myth that uh, we can currently dispute because of the data and, uh, and the facts that we have. More than 1,000 uh, Africans at the time of doing um, this particular video had, you know, had been confirmed to be, to be infected by the virus and some have died of this particular virus. So the things that you need to avoid, you may do them but just try to avoid. Kindly avoid using cash if possible. Where possible use mobile uh, uh, soft uh, soft wallets, soft, soft money wallets, avoid handshakes. I know we as Africans, we like greeting our uh, people with, with, with our hands and it's in our culture and there's nothing wrong with that. But at this particular point in time, we ask you, we beseech you, we employ you, kindly avoid handshakes, avoid close contacts in form of hugs and so forth. So let's talk about treatment. Now, Viruses or any, okay, any, any illness uh, will, will require that we have a treatment uh, against, against that particular uh, disease or to cure. And research has been done, you know, about this virus and researchers are beginning to understand uh, how the, 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 you know, how the virus behave, how it affects human body, how it interacts with human bodies and the, the receptors and so forth and so far they have the DNA, uh, you know, they have the genome print of it. So much is being done. Uh, some, so a friend of mine was telling me that probably in, in seven days we'll have the, the vaccine ready. No, that's not true. The process of drug development or vaccine development is a tedious, uh, it's, a, it's a very tedious, cumbersome and tiresome work and it requires time. And above all, it's very, very expensive. When you go to the clinic and then you're being given, uh, you know, uh, a drug to take, it's, it's, it's important to note that that drug took a lot of time. Sometimes tens of years, like 20 years. I know of drugs that have been under development. They have been in pipeline for 20 years when much research is being still done on it. So, for, let me tell you what uh, the process of, of um, currently we don't have the treatment. And uh, let me tell you uh, the process of developing a vaccine. We'll have to take people who have recovered from, from the virus. And then we, we, we take, you know, the, 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 their immune cells or antibodies, which have the memory of that particular virus. And from that, we can now fast track, you know, the process of vaccine development. Then we have to test it in animals. Okay. Even before testing it in animals, we have to, you know, um, use computation uh, uh, methods to uh, to ensure that we improve the efficacy of this particular uh, lead compound or molecule to the receptors, you know, that uh, uh, that will, you know, target this particular uh, virus. So it's a long process. You have to test it in animals, and after testing it in animals. If it goes through, uh, that is uh, preclinical trials, you have to go through clinical trials, you have to get volunteers and put this drug into them or vaccine into them. 
and in most cases it doesn't work or the, 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 the subjects uh, develop you know immune reactions to the drug and this drug has to you know you have to go back you know I have to go back to another process and it's tedious and it will take time so for right uh, for now we even hope even though the science and uh, technology has improved and we can fast track things instead of developing our drugs in 10 years we can do it you know or a vaccine in 20 years we can do it in two years or months let's be aware that we have had the, the problem of HIV virus for more than 20 years now and nobody has developed a vaccine against it, effective vaccine against it. So this can take also quite some time. So the only hope that we currently have to avoid this pandemic, to you know, avoid uh, or, or to fight and win the war against this uh, pandemic coronavirus is to you know, take the precautions that you have been given, stay at home, wash your hands using a uh, hand sanitizer you know uh, you 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 have to avoid handshakes and and using you know money uh, and and so forth uh, that's using cash because that's a, a one means of of uh, of spreading the virus now if there are any regulations that have been put in your country for example in the republic of kenya we, we have been told, you know, to, to avoid crowded places to, you know, uh, the government has put down measures that a supermarket just have to have, you know, X number of, uh, of, of customers at a time. Let's adhere to them. Let's not joke about this virus. And another way to help with the virus is to stop spreading, you know, information that, that is not verified, that causes fear into people and they think the world is ending, they think this is a fulfillment of a prophecy. No, 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 no. You know, there are times in the whole days when a whole city could be wiped out, wiped out with the pandemic. But now it could have happened to one or China alone. But the world has become a global village. It's no longer, you know, uh, I can go to China in, 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 in two days if I have, or in one day. And so that means there's fast spread of virus because humans are interacting a lot. So let's uh, just take the precautions that have been made and that will help us to stop the spread and win the war against this virus. So for all that, see you.